Yo, what's up guys, the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is my video on my Call of Duty Advanced Warfare precautions for the multiplayer. So basically, some other YouTubers have made videos talking about their, you know, what they want in Advanced Warfare, and just a few simple bullet points. I've made a lot of videos talking about different things in Advanced Warfare that would really please me and a lot of the fans, but this video is going to be a longer one. It's just going to be a chill commentary, so sit back, relax, get your popcorn. The gameplay, I do not know what the gameplay will be on the in the background. It'll probably be some sort of a lot of chem strikes put together or some MOABs or something. Some sort of stuff but hopefully you guys will enjoy this video it's probably gonna be a long one I'm gonna have 10 bullet points I want to talk about for advanced warfare I want to get your guys feedback in the comment section below and I want all you guys to drop a like on this video that would mean the world to me so let's get started into this Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video so the first thing that I want to say is that um, basically when a lot of Call of Duty's come out you guys might remember MW2 when that game came out there was the OP model 1887 and that's what I'm talking to talk about as my first point is basically when the game comes out I don't want to see really OP weapons and I think that a problem with Call of Duty compared to other shooters even though lots of you guys are gonna say and I do agree Call of Duty is the most popular shooter game or pretty much I'm pretty sure it's the most popular shooter game and um, but a problem with it is that they're really lazy and not releasing a beta I think they should release a beta that maybe maybe if they're since they're money whores maybe you know charge five or ten dollars to download the game maybe a month before it's released and you have one map team deathmatch or something like that where you get to play just that I think that would be great they'd rake in a lot of money which is all they're about you know these guys are money whores over at the company but I think they need a beta so we can test out some guns they don't even need to release all the guns in the beta but you know lots of guns are going to be overpowered when the game first comes out and then they end up nerfing ones buffing them nerfing them buffing them it kind of gets ridiculous how many times they nerf and buff the guns I think if they had a beta if they had fan feedback before the official release date in November that this would not be a problem and that you wouldn't have like got m guns like the model 1887 shotguns and MW2 you could shoot a guy literally like from like 50 feet away or something like that with a shotgun which was obviously ridiculous and they ended up patching it like a week or two weeks after the game came out but those mistakes should not be made as from me as a viewer standpoint I think that's what they should do is they should release a beta let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about an open beta or maybe a paid beta or maybe a beta just for people that have a secret code or something like that um, but um you know, people that are in tight with uh, Sledgehammer and uh, Call of Duty and Microsoft and all that. But yeah, that's my first point is that I don't want to see any overpowered guns. I want it to be really balanced and stuff like that. I think that would be really good. So the next thing is about the DLC. So DLC is something that's a big part of Call of Duty. And I want them to do it right in Advanced Warfare. They've been doing pretty good in the DLC so far. I think Ghost has really expanded. I mean, there's so if, if you buy all the DLC from Ghost, you're going to run up to like $300, $400 for this game. They release so many camos. They release so many new things that I think the DLC... DLCs in Advanced Warfare should be similar to how they do in Ghost. I think the camos are a bit overpriced. Maybe, you know, put the camos down to a dollar or something like that. But one thing that I do think is that every time they drop the map pack, so like in Call of Duty Ghost, we got four map packs. The one just came out. The next one's going to be in August. Every time they drop the map packs and the new extinction map, it creates a lot of hype. And I think that if Advanced Warfare dropped maybe two or three maps every time instead of four and dropped them more consistently, maybe had six drops uh, over the year, so one every two months instead of one every three months, I I think that would keep the hype up a lot more for this game and I want you know everyone wants this basically you want a game that from Advanced Warfare um, that lasts the whole year and basically you want a Call of Duty that's going to be fun to play from the first day it comes out you know the first week every Call of Duty game is fun you know no matter if it's the worst Call of Duty game ever it's going to be fun for the first week because it's new we're used to playing Ghost for the whole year when Advanced Warfare comes out it's going to be fun for the first week for sure but you want something that has replayability and that's the thing with Extinction compared to Zombies and I'm wondering if in Sledgehammer if they will have some sort of Zombies or Extinction mode Extinction to me is really fun and you guys might hate on me for this but Extinction is really super awesomely fun the first time you play it after that you already know who the final boss is you already know the Kraken's gonna come up on the ship and stuff like that spoiler alert but um with zombies you can play it with your friends over and over and that has more replayability um, options I guess you could say is that and that's one thing that with the game you want the game that's you know playable over the thing because there's 20 maps whatever 30 guns in the game 30 perks you got to create different setups for that and you got to make the game fun for your viewers throughout the whole year and that's basically one thing I should think they do. The in another interesting thing will be with Sledgehammer, they're not part of, um, you know, they're not Treyarch and they're not Infinity Ward, so will they bring back old maps? Because, you know, Treyarch would always bring back old Treyarch maps, Infinity Ward would bring back old Infinity Ward maps. Sledgehammer, are they going to bring back any maps? And It'll be interesting to see which side they are. I think if you do bring back old maps into the game, especially if you just reskin them, they should be free into the online playlist. That's just my opinion. This video is not like complaining or anything like that. I really 
don't care. They're gonna release the game. They're not gonna listen to me. They're, no one from, um, you know, Infinity Ward or not Infinity Ward. What am I saying? Sledgehammer is gonna watch this video. And be like, you know what? Goblin said release the camels for a dollar instead of two. Let's do that. You know. But this is just my opinion. I'm sure lots of you guys will agree with me. And hopefully, you guys uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to hear a lot of comments. And I want to have a big discussion. So next thing is the perk system. A lot of people have been asking me my thoughts on the perk system. The perks in this game. Um, you know, there's some different perk setups. There's the pick 10 system we saw in Black Ops 2. Then there's the regular. You got three perks. You got your nades. You got your stuns. All that stuff that we had in MW2. Black Ops 1, you know, the normal Call of Duty stuff. And then there's the Call of Duty Ghost ones where you get... There's like 30... 35 or 30, 30 perks in Call of Duty Ghosts, and you can get so many with them with the specialist. I prefer the classic way. I think like MW3, you get three perks, you get your specialist three, and then you get all the perks on the specialist. I've talked about this in many videos before how I want the specialist to work, but um, you know, I think that I don't really care about which perk system they do, but I think that you don't want to overcomplicate your game. A lot of your fans, and you don't want to, you really don't want to take away from the core fan base. A lot of the core fans will be saying Call of Duty 4 is the best call ever. Oh my god, oh my god. When really, I play Call of Duty 4 quite a bit. Call of Duty 4 is a good game, but there was flaws in that too. There was triple frags, but the game was simple, which was really just fun to play. You know, a simple Call of Duty game was fun to play, and Call of Duty 4 was really fun. The DLCs were actually really fun on that one too. Um, the Kill House and whatever it's called. The next point I have here is obviously you want this game to be fast paced. I want Call of Duty to be fun, man. I, I don't, if I wanted to play a slow paced, you know, sit at the back, sniper, um, you know, tactical game, I would be a Battlefield player. And that's just the honest truth. You know, Call of Duty, I want to be a fast paced gamer. And that's basically what I think Advanced Warfare needs to do is make sure this game is fast paced for all their viewers and make sure that this thing is really fun to play, man. S small maps. I guarantee if they release small maps, I say this over and over and over again. If this game was all small maps, you would have complainers like, oh my god, I just got blown up from an IED or whatever. But the game would be overall fun. You would be like, you know what? Like, MW2, there's Painkiller. There's um, Dead Man's Hand. That's the biggest bullshit. I think that was an MW... No, that, that's an MW3, I think. Dead Man's Hand. Painkiller is MW2. Those are the biggest bullshit things in the world. The guy just blows up. He, he can blow you up from dying five times in a row. Never complains about that. But the game's fun, the game's fast paced, and man, you don't want a boring game. I'd rather have a fast paced game with bullshit or a fun game with bullshit than a slow or boring game. The next thing I want to say is that, um, you know, you want a game that makes all the groups happy, and you want something, you know, snipers in this game. Lots of tryhards hate snipers. Me personally, I don't hate snipers. I'm a tryhard. I like sniping. I like sniping myself. I think the snipers should be pretty powerful. You know, you want to make sure every group is happy and it's easy. You know, just make the snipers pretty balanced. Make them good. You know, good for quick scoping. This game is n Call of Duty sniping is not really for hard scoping except on big maps, and I'm sure the developers know that. That's why they make quick scoping available and stuff like that. You know, you want to make every group happy. You want to have snipers. You want to make your tryhards. You want to make your competitive people happy with the league play system, which I've talked about in my other videos. But um, you know, that's what you want to do, and that's how you make things everyone happy. A thing with Call of Duty, what they always say is they always try and incorporate new players into the game, which is awesome by me. I want the game to, the fan base to expand and stuff like that, but I don't want to take away from the core fan base like myself. So what I think they should in integrate is some sort of a, a noob playlist. Or that's kind of a, a mean name, but a noob playlist is like a basic training. I think they have this in World at War. So from level like 1 to 10 on your first prestige, you can play TDM with other noobs. I mean, sure, it would take away a few of the noobs from the public max playlist, but it would create more people, you know, lots of people... Say it's your first game of Call of Duty ever, you spawn into a domination or a demolition and you're getting completely assed spawn trap. You know, you're not going to like the game, man. You want to play against noobs and you want to get more people into the game. I think a noob playlist would be a good option, especially, you know, starting out with Sledgehammer. You know, a whole new whole new game uh, developer, they should have the new, new playlist. That's just my opinion. It would suck for me, though, because I like, I like feeding on noobs. I like getting cam strikes on noobs, obviously. But that's just my opinion on that. The next thing I want to talk about is the sound in this game. I think... People, you know, it's kind of cheap. When you have a headset, you can sound horror. But in my opinion, I think the sound should be good. The sound in Call of Duty Ghost is pretty good. The sound in MW3 is pretty good. Treyarch games kind of mute the sound a little bit more. I, I know, was, was it just me? But in Black Ops 2, um, I felt like I needed to turn my hearing aid up, Grandpa, because I could not hear any footsteps, even with the amplifier. I think that was a perk in the game. No, not amplify. Um, but there was another perk that raised uh, enemy footsteps. I could not hear anything with that amplifier zone from Call of Duty Ghost. But another thing is the menu music, man. Okay, one thing about... I'm I'm basically into Call of Duty and sports games and in sports games say like an NHL 06 You got your classic Billy talent. You got some fucking awesome tracks on that thing and Call of Duty needs to have more than their boring Basic menu music. I like what they did with the death mariachi and ghost you got that cool music Call of Duty needs to have some cool damn music get some Eminem rocking on the menu when you're loading up for the game
games, you know, get us pump, get some good jams going up there, and make it so that you can mute them. Like, uh, if people don't like the music, make it so you can mute it, so you can't complain, you know, you don't want this annoying music in your ear all the time, let you mute it, because that's always one of the most painful things, is when, say you're on a free-for-all, you're going for a Moab or something like that, you're 18 and 0, and then the little music comes on, the game's almost over, finish them off, like, I'm trying to sound over here, game, I'm trying to go for a Moab, and you're playing this stupid music in my ear, you know, that's what you want to do, and you want to make the sound fairly balanced, where the heads, uh, with the headset, you can hear guys, um, with dead silence, I don't think you should be able to, to be heard at all, you should be completely silent, even if the other person has Amplify or Sitrep Pro, whatever they're going to do in it, and I think they need some good beats in this game. Uh, the next thing I want to say is actually, some of you guys may not know this, but I've talked about which consoles will be best for this game, and I said that it's basically being made for Xbox uh, One, that the Xbox One is going to get the DLC first, PS4 really doesn't have to worry, the graphics are going to be the same and everything like that, same with PC, they're just going to have to wait for the DLC like usual, you know, um, but one thing that I read the other day is that a different company is actually making the game for the 360 and the PS3. That's trouble. That's trouble, and that kind of sucks. You know, if you have a PS3 or an Xbox 360, um, you might want to upgrade because that game could be shit if it's made by a different uh, different developer. It could be the same thing. I could be wrong here, but it could have terrible graphics, and we've seen this happen before with other game franchises. It could just not be as good. But it is good that they're focusing all their efforts on the Xbox One and the PS4 One. Um, you know, that, that's good for people that are going to be playing on those consoles. Last thing i got to say here is Sledgehammer. This is a breakthrough game for them, man. they got to go hard with this game. If this game is good, the fans are going to be big and, you know, screw Infinity War, screw Treyarch, we want Sledgehammer. So I really hope they do well with this game, and uh, that's about it. That's about it for this video. If you guys made it to the end of this video, let me, uh, leave a comment saying swag. Just swag in the comment section below. It's, I know it's kind of stupid, but it's going to be funny because everyone who made it to the end of the video is going to be commenting swag, and then people who are just looking at the video will be like, why is everyone commenting swag? So if you see a guy, you know, saying, why is everyone commenting swag in the comment section below? Just reply swag with them, you know, mess with the people, have some fun. Also, if you guys made it to the end of this video, I'd really appreciate a like, man. If we could smash maybe 2,000 likes, 3,000 likes in this video, that would mean a lot to me. This was a long video. It took me a while to think of this list for ideas. I thought about it for a day. Uh, put out a pretty good list. Hopefully these gameplays in the background were pretty good. And if everyone who's watching this right now could leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm going to be covering Advanced Warfare as well as everything on Call of Duty Ghosts, of course. Um, definitely subscribe. And that's about all I got for you guys. And as always, subscribe for Cookie. I'm out. Peace.